Hey, what's going on guys? So welcome back uh, to the channel. So I'm actually doing a little bit of environment shopping again in Unreal Engine 4 for future videos. And pretty much the first stop that I go to is the Quixel Mega Scan page. And as you can see right here, they did come out with a new medieval game environment that looks freaking amazing. And this is free. So go ahead and grab it. Just a heads up though, with my rig, it took a good 20 minutes to load up. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this map. Let's see if we can use it for future videos. Uh, have it open here. So you can see, it looks really, really nice. Now, these orange stuff, uh, they're just blockers pretty much. Right here, if I go right here, you're going to see that they're just cube blocking volumes. If I press G, that's going to go away. But look at this thing. And I have it set to cinematic. And I'll post my um, my rig specs at the end of this video. But this right here looks freaking incredible. And excuse right here. I'm getting like 40 frames per second. Granted, I am running OBS as well in the same setup. So that might be taking a hit. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at this and walk around and... Uh, in gameplay mode or play mode and then I might have to turn on DLSS just to help us out with the uh, FPS here so I'm gonna press F11 and um, actually let me go ahead and press play first and then we will go to full screen okay I'm gonna go ahead and press play it took a little bit of time this is a little cinematic sequence here in the beginning and then it's gonna give you control so I'm gonna go ahead and press F11 and it's pretty crazy because you saw that it transitioned from the cinematic to actual playable. <laughs> Back in the day, you can tell the difference between, you know, like a cinematic sequence and the actual game. But nowadays, with Unreal Engine 4, the transition is no longer there. It's pretty insane. So yeah, here's the scene here. I'm just, you know, moving around with WASD, a couple of birds and... We're not going to be able to go through here because, as you can see earlier, there's a blocking in there. But man, you see the little physics cloth right there? It looks nice. I just kind of heard it flopping around. So, uh, we're getting around 42 seconds right now. Let me go ahead and sprint out of the way. Hey, look at this. This is insane. I mean, give it like five years from now when the actual hardware catches up with this. This is the perfect, like, movie set. This is really cool. Alright, go ahead and go in. It looks like there's a couple of houses here. They're actually blocking it, so they only want you to go, to go one way, I guess. Okay. I just hope nothing pops up. I don't know what kind of map this is, but it looks kind of like Wanted Monster Hunter. Okay, well, great. Okay, so yeah, it looks like a monster kind of game. There's fire right here. I mean, I don't know. I mean, this looks good, but I think for a video game perspective, um, it doesn't really look photorealistic per se. I mean, it looks fantastic for a video game, but as far as using it for like a CG short film, unless every if everything is just kind of out of focus, then you might be able to swing that, but uh, right now, oh, that's getting pretty creepy. Alright, we're running at 35 frames a second now. But yeah, as a backdrop, that would be really cool. This is actually pretty big. This is, what, what just happened? Man, this is... Oh, the light's turning off for some reason. What's going on with that? Look at this. Duh. And no, I, I... Honestly, I don't see consoles running it and looking like this for a while. I mean, this is the RTX 3090 I have, and... I mean, I'm, I'm struggling, but... Can you imagine? Gaming-wise... Heck no, man. What the? Uh-uh. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch over to DLSS. I honestly... <laughs> I, don't... 
<laughs> I heard some whispers. I guess there's a uh, uh, a volume there, like a like an event. Oh man, uh, you know what? I think we should look at it. We should look at it first before I walk around any further. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're back in the editor here. I'm gonna press G. Because I swear there's like a volume in there. Pretty much when you step on it, it's going to trigger an event. Where is that? Where, where was that area? Is, is it? Now, let me press F11. There is a trigger. Event trigger here. Okay. It was like around this area that I stepped on it that I heard something play. No, it's falling leaves. You're trying to scare me, man. Maybe if we go trigger. So there's a bird trigger. Trigger box. Ah, okay, no, that one's far away. It was it was around this area, so I'm going to find it. Trigger capsule. There it is. What is this? So there's a button right here that triggers. Call something. I'm trying to figure out if that's what played the sound there it's just a second ago. Uh, there's a trigger. It's also a time delay trigger. And Quixel Mega Scan. You guys trying to scare me? That's not cool, dude. Alright, yeah, it's around there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on uh, DLSS and see if we can improve our frame rates because that was pretty bad. So I already have it turned on. If you don't know how to turn it on, just go to Edit Plugins and D DLSS is already in. Um... I already made a video on how to install this, so go ahead and check that out. Now you can turn on DLSS here, like I said, um, here and stuff, but that's only going to work in your editor here. So you can see it's pretty nice and smooth. But what we actually need to do is turn it on um, so that when we press play, the ultra uh, DLSS setting is turned on as well. So well, why is that axe floating? That's weird. Uh, okay, so let's go to our level blueprint. So open our level blueprint here. I'm going to move this to the left since I have dual screen and set this to DLSS mode and let's go DLSS sharpness. We'll set this to 0.2. You can mess around with that if you want. We're going to go with ultimate performance, compile and save. Now at the beginning of the game or the map, I was getting around 42 to 44 and let's see how much improvement uh, this DLSS setting does here. So let's press play. In this cinematic, I was getting the same thing, 52 earlier, uh, about 40, oh no, 49, 50. So, press F11 to make it bigger so you guys can see. Uh, it is smoother, so you can see when I turn left and right. And it looks like we're getting maybe 6 or 7 more frames than uh, without DLSS. This is pretty sweet. If you ask me, it's a little bit smoother, to be honest. But like I said earlier, uh, this is with... It's pretty. This is with um, the OBS running as well, recording the screen cap. So I might be able to get some more in there if I turn it off. But, you know, you won't be able to see. So let's go ahead and run to town and go to that kind of dark, shadowy area. Wake to Jacobia. That's cool. You know what, rem what this reminds me of is that new Resident Evil game, The Village. Can we go this way? Oh, I guess you can. This one's blocked. That's not. That's cool. Okay, I'm not gonna walk around and wonder too much because that there's probably a lot of those event triggers that's just gonna creep me out. So let's just keep going. I swear I'm hearing like footsteps. No, it's actually the flag. Okay. Alright. This is nice. Okay, so I think we can go to those event begin play thingies. That'll look good. Let's go this way. Now I'm not trying to, I'm not a chicken. I'm gonna play a lot of scary games, but I guess I am a chicken, but there's not a chicken. This is pretty creepy. Um, yeah, let's go. Where's that other spot? Saw another kind of like spot to go up to. So this is the main town. How can you get lost in a small map like this? I mean, come on. This is why. I'm trying 
try to make movies instead of playing games because I'm not really good at this. Oh, oh, so we do have to walk in this creepy woods. Okay, yeah. Okay, I remember now. I mean, you can kind of see the DLSS setting. Um, they, I don't know. It Obviously, the quality is taking a hit. But this is pretty smooth. I mean, obviously, it's not 60 frames per second smooth. But it's just not bad. But like I said, they... It's got 44 here. No, that asset. That's from the Quixel Mega Scan. Let's get closer to the fire and see if my computer will die. Some random rope hanging in there. This looks amazing. Okay, so that's that. This is where that. Yes, it's right here. The little trigger. It's around right there. Okay, so let's go. Let's go up. We should already check that out. Where's that other area? So that's where we came from. Oh, right here. Okay. Okay, so there's block there. Oh yeah! Oh shoot, I just fell down. Whoa, okay, yeah, that's kind of creepy. Oh, man, I fell for a second. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm totally creeped out right now. I don't even know why I went to this dark spot. Uh, but yeah, that is the new map that you can download from Quixel Megascan for free. Absolutely zero dollars. You can get this map. Uh, create a video game with it. You know, or make movies inside it. And, oh, the light's turning off. That's really freaking me out. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and turn off this map because it's starting to scare me a little bit.